world, I'm Colleen, and welcome to my glamorous life. I'm that almost 50-year-old mom with three teenagers, here to give you some helpful tips, tricks, and honest reviews, and today I'm super excited. I'm going to review the Jeffree Star Supreme Gloss. I managed to snag two colors, and they're colors that I would never wear normally, but I said, you know what? We're going for it. I got Lost in Paradise and Weirdo. Hmm. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a Valentine's Day deep dark look for you. I'm gonna use Weirdo for that, but first off, we're gonna swatch these, so let's get to it. Okay, so Supreme Gloss. These things, if it'll focus, these come in these beautiful iridescent packaging. I love it. Um, Lost in Paradise is this turquoise color and he's kind of changed the shape. It doesn't have the crown on it or anything. It's just a straight, lots of product. There's, uh, what is it? 5.1 milliliters, so 0.172 fluid ounces of product in these. And this is a turquoise kind of blue green and I'm going to swatch this on my hand for you, but I want you to look at the, the applicator. This has kind of caused some controversy because of how it's shaped. Look at that. Come on, focus on the applicator. There we go. So you can see there, it's kind of tulip shaped. Now, the neat thing about this is, is it holds lots of products. So you don't have to keep going back into your product to get more and more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch that here on the back of my hand for you. Oh, it helps if I have it turned the right way. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. See how nice that is? It matches my shirt today. I love it. But the one I really am excited about. Now, this one I think is kind of cute. It'll go, you know, kind of great for spring. So that's Glossed in Paradise. And then the one I'm going to use today, we're going to use it in conjunction with some of his lipstick. Um, but this is Weirdo. Now, Weirdo, I have looked at this shade in his for a long time. He's had it in a couple other products for the lips and it is a beautiful glossy black. Okay. And you just look at this. Look at it. Look at the pigment in that. I mean, it's just, it's just laying it on there. It's beautiful. Now I'm excited to do this one because I'm going to do kind of an ombre black and red lip with this today, but I wanted to show you these. The, the formula is just really thick and creamy. Look at those colors. I mean, I kind of glopped them on my hand, but the colors are beautiful. Um, once again, Jeffrey kind of outdid himself in the cosmetic department. Like I always say, love him or hate him. The man makes good cosmetics. Okay. Um, and I just had to try the, the new gloss because I like the original V gloss. Um, I think it's great. I use it a lot as a topper and sometimes just as a straight lip gloss. But these are pigmented. So they're more or less a shiny, almost lipstick type color. So um, I'm excited. I've seen people use these for eyeliners and for graphic designs for their, um, haven't gotten that brave yet, but we'll see. So today we're going to do just a little bit of kind of a dramatic wine look with that ombre black and red lip. Okay. So I have busted out my ColourPop wine and only palette today for you. That's this one right here. Right there. There you go. Beautiful colors. And in my boxy charm, they sent us these cute little brushes. Isn't this cute? This is, uh, I forget, Glamier or something like that. Is it Glamier? Yeah, Glamier. <laughs> but look, watch the, watch the barrel. Those are little tiny hearts in there. If it'll focus, come on, focus for me. There we go. You can see the little hearts falling. They're all in there. So I've got a whole set of eye brushes like this and it, it's, they're cute. I couldn't resist using them today. Okay. So I'm going to go in cause I want to do kind of a deep color. I'm going to go in with Vintner, which is this one right down here. And I'm going to just catch the outer corner of my eye here. 
okay and then I'm going to kind of drag that up into my crease and around And that was just one dip, but I'm really getting in there and just kind of dragging it around and just shaping it into my eye. Let's do the other side here. I'm going to start on the bottom, dragging out, and then bring it around the crease. And this is a, the darkest color on the palette. This is really deep and dark. So I'm just taking it and I'm taking my time with the brush. This is a really nice, I mean, it's, they're little brushes. They're really short but it's nice and fluffy on the end. And you know me and my fluffy black, fluffy brushes for blending. Yes, she can speak. Okay. It's like I look in the mirror, I look in the camera, I look in the mirror, I look in the camera. Sometimes I go back and as I'm editing, I see where I didn't blend something right and I'm like, Oh, <laughs> all right. So now there's that. I'm going to take my stuck on you eye primer. This is by the beauty chop. I'm just going to get in there with my finger and I'm going to kind of hit the center of my lid here and kind of blend it up. I don't really want to do like a full blown cut crease for starters. My eyes are set back enough and I have enough of a, a visible lid and a deep crease that cut creases, no matter how hard I try, never look right on me. Ever. So I'm going to do more of a halo look, but I want to really have that base in there for it. So I'm going back in with my primer in the middle there just to give it a little <clears throat> Okay, now I want to go in with one of the Somaye Super Shock from uh, ColourPop. This is Muse, and it's this beautiful, beautiful, creamy, bright wine. Okay, so now clean that off my finger just a little bit so I can use it again. All right, so now I'm going to go in with Muse. Look at that. And we're just going to get that right in that center, right where I just put that foundation, um, the primer. Okay. But wait, this is not all, I promise. Okay. I'm going to go back to the palette now. And we have this beautiful one called Blaze that is right here, okay? And I'm gonna go in with this very fine detail brush that came with my little set. And I'm gonna pop that right in the center just to, because it's so much lighter. It's gonna brighten things up right there a little bit. Okay, now I'm also going to take the same brush and I'm going to catch the corner of my eye because this is such a beautiful shade. I want to really pop the corner right there. Now you can, you can always play around, you know, look at your eyes, look at your eye shape, decide what looks best on you because what looks good on me might not look the same on you. Um, I'm gonna go back with my first brush here and I'm actually gonna come down into this grapeful in this corner here. This is a, that deep burgundy, but with a beautiful kind of golden green reflex to it. I'm gonna hit this outer corner just to deepen that up just a little bit. Just the outer corner. I'm not gonna do the inside. I wanna keep the inside a little light. But wait, there's more. 
because what I have, I have the Artist Couture Illuminati Diamond Dust. This stuff is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me just get a little of this out into the lid here. This stuff is so pretty. And I'm going to take the kind of fluffy flat brush that came with the set here. I'm just going to kind of tap that into the brush and I'm going to flip right up on my brow bone here and along the edge, front edge of my crease here. It's going to open up my eye a little bit. Do that on both sides. And then again, I'm going to take just a little of this and just really pop the center of that. Now we're going to take just a clean brush. This is an angle brush, but I just want to kind of make sure I don't have any hard edges on that. And there's the top. Now, before I go any further, I want to go ahead and update my, um, my foundation concealer. I don't really have anything on right now. Hence the horrible, horrible circles. So I'm going to take the, um, this is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage and my color on this was 2N and I'm going to take the brightener side and I'm just going to hit where I'm really, really dark with this right here. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at this and I need to clean up under my eyes just a hair. So I've hit the dark spots, but I'm going to go in with my Q-tip and a little bit of my Sensi Eyes on the back of my hand. You know, this lovely little stuff. And I'm just going to clean up over here. I just realized how dark that is. Don't want that there. No harsh lines, please. There we go. Okay, let me get back with this. So this is, <clears throat> so I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. This is 2M is my color. I'm going to go in with the brightening end and I'm just going to hit where my eyes are like really, really dark underneath here. Don't really see, I might go in with the concealing end just a little bit. I got a couple of, couple of post breakout spots on me that I don't care for right now bit of sun damage, you know, the usual. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go in and I'm just gently going to blend any hard edges off of that. Okay, now I have been in love with since I, uh, since I did my review of it, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Powder, uh, Soft Matte Powder Foundation. It's the Pro Filter Foundation. I love it. Anyhow, this is, I have never found a powder foundation that works quite as well. Now, I love my Laura Geller Baked Powder Foundation. Don't get me wrong. It's great too. But this one has so much more coverage. And I never thought I'd find that in a powder foundation that didn't end up looking like I was wearing a slice of cake on my face. And this one has just worked out very nicely. So... This time of year, I'm in that in-between. We haven't got sun yet, so my skin's still pale as I'll get out. But it's been miserably icky out. So I just don't feel myself. <laughs> this does a really good job of just evening out the skin tone for the year. Okay. So now, under my eyes. We're going to go back in with that angle brush that I used earlier. And I'm going to go back in with the Muse, with the Shock the super shock. This is Muse. And I'm going to go under my eye with it. Just right under the edge there. I'm not going to like go all the way in. I don't think cause yeah, I'm just not feeling that today. All right. Now then a little bit of contour. I have my phase zero blush and, blush and bronzer trio and my trusty dusty moda contouring brush, which I actually love this. This came in a, um, a moda mystery box and it has just been a really nice contour brush. It's 
just compact enough that it puts color where you want it, but soft enough so that it blends beautifully. Because I don't know about you, but if you've ever had a con some contour brushes are so stiff that when you put the contour on, it just does a line and then there's no brushing it out. This one just allows me to put it where I want it and blend it even on the side of my nose. I've, I've been very impressed with this. Okay. Stop talking, Colleen. Get your makeup done because they want to see the claw, the Supreme claws. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go in with, look at my poor contours of the pan. I'm going to go in with the kind of mid-tone on this, which is that peachy shimmer, which is a little bit of a highlight. And it works really well as like a, it's kind of a spring bronzer for me. It doesn't brown up my skin, but it gives me a little bit of color where I need it without like overpowering my skin. I have so got to order another one of these. Okay, now, keeping in tradition with sparkly, this is my uh, little sparkly brush that I got in my box a while ago. You've seen it in my brush video. This is a uh, Bare Minerals Gen Nude, and it is in the color Call My Blush, okay? I don't have a lot of pink blush for some reason. I, I tend to lean toward peaches, and I was like, I want to do all these like soft pink looks for Valentine's Day, and I have no pink blush. So here goes nothing. It's probably because my skin doesn't usually, I don't know, I don't wear a lot of pink. I guess I do. I just don't wear pink pink usually. I also didn't want like pink stripes on my cheeks. Okay, now we're going to go back in with that Illuminati, this Artist Couture stuff. This is awesome. I've got this nice fluffy, fluffy little brush here that I'm just taking that up and we're just going to catch the top of our cheeks. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that sparkle? Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Ugh. It's so subtle yet like so on it. And it's, it's totally different from where I, I, I kind of packed it in here to here. It's just mm, love it. Okay, enough about that. Let's finish up my eyes real quick. I have the ColourPop Liquid Liner. This is from their wine collection called Wine Nut. I'm just going to do a little uh, little lining on the upper lid. And let's get that done. I do like these ColourPop liners. I, I can't talk while I'm using them, you know that. Um, because the felt tip on them, you give me a good felt tip liner that stays put and I'm, that's all I want, really. I mean, these are just, once I get them on, they pretty much stay where I put them. They don't, even when my eyes get all watery and weepy at the end of the night, which they always do when I'm tired, they don't run into my into the inner corner of my eye too bad. I mean, I always get a little on the corner of my eye. It's just my eyes. But I usually get like a pool over here on the edge of mascara and eyeliner at the end of the night. These don't seem to do that so much, which I really like. Mm -hmm. Get in my lashes there. Like I said, I'm just lining the top just to give me a little depth there because I'm going to throw on a set of lashes. I have my, well, I had my <laughs> I'm going to ever have one of those days. Okay. So I have my, um, Lashaholic. These are the Instaglam lashes. Now I don't normally care for lashes that have the dark black band on them like these do, but this particular one stays on pretty good. So I'm okay with it. Usually I like a clear band and you know, not a lot of evidence that I'm wearing false lashes. These aren't bad. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get these on off camera and I will be back to get into that ombre lip that I want to show you. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Focus. There you go. Okay. We're back. Got the Lashaholic lashes on, a little bit of mascara. Yeah, eyes are done. Okay. But we're here for the Supreme Gloss. So this is the Jeffree Star Lip Liner in Unicorn Blood. Okay, we're going to use that to start off with, lining our lips. And once again, I'm horrible at having a fight with this autofocus still. I am horrible at talking while I'm doing this, so I'll try and tell you what I'm doing as I'm going. Okay, we're going to start off. We're going to start from the outside and line in on the top, okay? Don't go all the way into the corners, though, because when you do that, it tends to bleed out the side, and we don't want that, especially with dark lips. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to go a little heavy here, a little lighter here, and a little heavy in the center, okay? And you'll see why in a minute. You can overline your lips if you want to, but if you go too far out, it looks really weird. I don't really overline mine much, just the tiniest little bit because it, it hides the little lines that I've developed from drinking from straws and smoking in the past and all that. Don't do that. It's not good. They show up when you get older anyway, especially if you have an expression, an expressive face. Okay. Once again, I'm doing that kind of little X right at the center of my cupid's bow just to give it a little little depth if you will okay now i'm going to do the bottom i'm going to do the same i'm going to start on the outside and work my way toward the center only now i'm going to be a little heavier on the outer corners Okay. Now that is my lip liner. Mm. Missed a spot. <laughs> okay. Now I have the Velvet Trap lipstick in Unicorn Blood. This is my all time favorite shade of red, I have to say, only because it is the only red, red lipstick, matte red lipstick that I've ever put on that I don't absolutely hate with my hair. Now I can wear like shiny reds. Okay. But if you put on like a coral red on me, hmm, mm -mm, this is perfect. Now, normally I would stop right here. This would be my face, right? But no, I want to use the Supreme Gloss. I have actually tried this out by itself and I do like it, but I wanted to do this today. So let's take a look here, shall we? Most people use the dark color on the outside of kind of an ombre look. Not me. I'm going to touch right at the center here. Oh, this smells. It's almost like a sugar cookie kind of a vanilla undertone. Oh, I'm not big on scented cosmetics, mind you. But there's just something about what Jeffrey puts in that. I don't know what it, I don't know. I like it. we go. What do you think? Hmm? If you were ever afraid to wear black lipstick, hmm, I could get behind this. I could really get behind this. I like this look. 
There we go. Pull my hair down here. My hair's been like, not like in the weather lately. It's been all frizzy and froof, but that's okay. Hmm. This goes really nicely over the lipstick too. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, like I said, I've, you saw the swatches on my hand. It's high gloss, very deeply pigmented. Um, get up there so you can see it. It just blends in beautifully. I like this. Um, I can get my focus back. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Focus, please. There we go. Sometimes I just got to get closer to the camera. I get too close, then I get close away. Anyhow, so this is missing. I just put it on my lips. Where to put it? <laughs> okay. All right. So this is the new Supreme Gloss. Um, this is the color Weirdo, coupled with Unicorn Blood here for a little bit of a reverse ombre. Most people do the ombre, like I said, they do dark to light. I'm doing the dark in the middle. I kind of like it. So I am actually impressed once again by Jeffrey um, and the Supreme Gloss. I will definitely be doing a spring look with the Gloss in Paradise. Um, I just, I kind of, I dig this color. I don't know why I'm, I'm a big blue person anyway, but I was thinking it was a lot greener than it was. And it's just this beautiful turquoise and I have the perfect palette to go with this. So we'll do it. We'll do a look with it later in the season. But for now, this is a little dark, mysterious, vampy, vampire, vampy vampire. <laughs> this is a little dark, mysterious, vampy Valentine's Day look. What do you think? Can you just see it? I can. I could get behind this color. Hmm. Give me a nice glass of champagne with a few deep, dark cherries in it, and I'm set to go. I hope you all have a fantastic Valentine's Day and catch me next week for a few more tips and tricks. I got some stuff cooking up, but if there's something specific you want to see, put it in the comments down below. We've got weird history and makeup on Wednesdays. So if you want to see something neat there, you want me to research something for you, throw it in the comments too. I look forward to it. Catch you all next week. Ta-ta.